Hey guys, it's Laura Lee. It's 3 a.m. and for some reason I have Gwen Stefani's uh, Hollaback Girl running through my head over and over and over again and it will not go away. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm in, I'm pushing through it, all of it, because uh, I am very behind on Genlock. Uh, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but as of when I'm recording this, episode 3 came out several days ago, and I've only watched episode 1. So I'm very behind, and unfortunately uh, that's led to some unfortunate side effects because I have been spoiled on something that happens in either this episode or the next one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I know an event that's going to happen in Genlock, which it's it sucks, but here we are. So that's a thing. Um, also, uh, I'm I'm still trying to decide how I feel about this microphone. I'm using a clip-on, so let me know what you guys think about the audio down in the comments. Um, I'm I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but I'm I'm gonna test it out for a little bit and see how I feel. I haven't edited anything uh, with the audio from it yet, so we'll see how that goes as well. But, uh, yeah, so episode one of Genlock was insane. Uh, like, I really didn't know what to expect because this is not my genre of expertise. Also, um, it's just, it's very different from anything Rooster Teeth's done before. In many ways, it's a much bigger production, it's, they're really branching out, so, uh, it's very different, but I wasn't sure how, what I'd think about it, but that first episode was just incredible, like, everything, the animation, the sound design, the voice acting from everybody, not just, you know, the big stars, but, um, the RT people held up really well against them, and, they set up an interesting world building that I really appreciated. It's we kind of got glimpses at the villains, the resistance, vanguard. The vanguard is the technical term. Um, their technology, mechs, nanos, all that good stuff, and then it threw a curveball at me I wasn't expecting and that they did a time skip and killed off the main character supposedly um I think we got a slight hint at what might be really going on in the intro but yeah that's where they left off last episode was hey guess what Julian Chase is now a hologram so they've got some big and more interesting mix on the field I'm just gonna end up babbling if I don't just press play now, so we'll talk more after, okay? I really need to go to bed after this. This intro is rad as hell. I'm looking forward to meeting more of the main characters as well. This last episode was very much just focusing on Julian and Miranda and their place within the Vanguard. So. You can just really tell, and this is something that even Michael B. Jordan said in an interview, is that you can really tell how much passion went into this project. It's They're not doing this for the money, they're not doing this to, you know, keep up with the times. Like, they're very much doing this show out of love, and it's, it's Grey's baby, and you can really see that, and I think that's another 
reason I like it so much is just you can tell how much they love what they're doing with this. Y'all look like y'all seen a ghost. Uh, yeah! It's been four years, buddy! What a thing to say, bud! Really? I was trying to, you know, lighten the mood. <laughs> Doctor, if you please. Yes, uh, uh. perhaps I'd better. Hello, everyone. If, um, okay, if we can compose ourselves. I can explain if we could all simply... Uh, Oof. Yes, there you go. Deep breaths. Count backwards from ten, all right? Lieutenant. Some of you may recognize me. I'm Dr. Weller of the Polities Experimental Science Unit, the ESU. And what we're about to discuss is, um, what, uh, phrase do you use here? Eyes only, top secret. Confidential. Breathe a word of this and I will kill you myself. That works too. Well, I was going to talk about what the Union would do to you, but clearly your colonel is the bigger threat. <laughs> Holding for laugh. No, no, no. Well, moving on. Chase! Is that you? Yeah, man, it's really me. I'm alive. Ish. Spoilers! Oh, skip, skip. Spoilers! I entire speech building up to that. Oh, skipping. Fine, may as well cut to the... Right. Uh, yes. This really cut is... Cut Chase. Chase. His MR <laughs> overlay, to be clear, but yes. We recovered him from his crash. He's alive and nearby. How's that possible? We saw the crash. Yeah, you sure you're not dead, man? Want a game later? Siege? It's him. Focus, please. <laughs> How are you here? Chase is the very first in a very special R&D program. Shortly before the war began, we had an extraordinary breakthrough at the ESU. Oh, David, Chase you. had been identified as one of the few compatible candidates in the entire world. Less than one in a million, really. So we kept an eye on him. When the incident at New York occurred, we rushed to his aid and have since made every effort to help his recovery. In return, he agreed to help us with our secret little experiment. Okay, this was already gonna be awkward, but come on. Doesn't anyone wanna know why? What we've been up to? The new mechs we just saw. The new mechs you just saw, yes. We yep. call them holons. So they're not drones, and they're not RC? No, oh, but it's... there was no place for a cockpit, no pilot, and if Chase is still in recovery... Oh, there's a pilot. If you want to be precise, there are no human bodies aboard the Holons, no, but they are piloted by a decanted human mind. Yeah, they're mentally controlling hey, hey, it. Hold on a minute. What? We are at the dawn of a new age, one where it is possible to digitize the human mind grab it and send it across a brain computer interface so it can run on an electronic mainframe that's a little or more uh mind frame if you will it's a little more a in depth brain. than i wasn't yeah, all right. I'm still working on it. it's certainly better than cyber dome i'm telling you it's going to catch on <laughs> chase here is the world's first human to successfully achieve what we refer to as genlock phase one and which in this case means he uploaded his mind to the cybernetic brain inside his holon, allowing him to operate the mech much as though it was his own body. Okay, Ms. so Genlock is the, the term for um, it was she who inhabited the other holon that digitizing you earlier. the mind for There's the holon. A lot to digest. We should leave it here for now. Dr. Weller's my favorite the character. I'm not biased. With us while they identify additional recruits for the Genlock project. Mostly greenhorns who will need to be taught proper tactics. That's where we come in. The Genlock team will embed with us as we conduct joint training exercises. Possibly some field operations, depending on how it all goes. Okay. Treat them as you would any other fellow unit. Dismissed. Y'all gotta talk. Just apparently not right now. 
Did they change the time? I'm so no, I think they're saying that's actually him. Uh, I don't get it. Just give us the new mechs. We'll show them how to fight. So, so he's actually on base. You're telling me I can have another beer with that dead bastard? Only if you pour it in his tank. Wait, you'll try tanks too? Oh. I feel bad for her. Hey, Chase! Chase? He's probably still mixed into the briefing room. He should return shortly. Can I? Yikes. Huh. Oh! Oh, there's not much of him left. Scar competition, no, that's for sure. <laughs> Thanks, amigo. Not sure I want to die, though. So, Chase, you're looking good. You, uh, lost weight. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up, amigos? He calls you eggs? Crumbs. It was supposed to be huevos. We should tell her the story. Come on, man, I just met her. You know, he wasn't all there before he wasn't all there. Hey. I have suspected. So, I'm just gonna ask, no regen? I mean, I, I know this would be a lot, but there have been cases that- Union nanotech, nasty stuff. On the other hand, if it hadn't infected him, he wouldn't have lasted oh. long enough for us to find him, but no. He was infected with the Probably nanos yes, that they released in the city. It's too much. I do not know if or when Chase will be able to leave the tank. Physically, anyhow. Whenever y'all are done with the melodrama, just let me know. Yeah, in a minute. So you put him, <laughs> him above all others. Why? Genlock is being pressed into service so early, the process is still in such a nascent, raw state. It requires a very unique nervous system, a tremendous amount of neuroplasticity in order to work. But to be Genlock compatible and already have a stellar career in combat aviation, hmm? That makes Chase one of the most important pilots in history. <clears throat> one. I said one, didn't I? <laughs> this isn't your moment. Wait, when was this compatibility check? Sorry, that's confidential. No, oh, I'm joking. You were tested ages ago. All of you, really. Uh, anyone who worked for the polity. Oh, come now. You don't think your health is the only thing being screened at your... You, yeah, well, your health screenings. Do you? <laughs> The things they inject you with, and all the extra data they collect, that... That you are presumably welcome to inquire about to your, uh, medical officer. Moving on. Chase oh my god. <laughs> and yes, he named it after himself. When you invent technology that changes the course of human history, you're welcome to name your procedures however you like. Ah! Reminds me. Some light reading. I love the What's animation this? on this. The colonel didn't tell you? During our stay, you're pulling second shift as the head of Holland Maintenance. You've got a thousand or three systems to begin familiarizing yourself with. Whoa. And then, the outer armor. You still here? You might want to get cracking. I'll need a tour around one of these Holland things. Deal. Chase. It's good to have you back. Mm. Not at all what I was expecting, man. I'm not sure how I expected this day to go, but it could have been worse. You sure about that? There's always tomorrow. That's the spirit. No, I mean you should always be ready in case things are worse tomorrow. On your recruits yeah. arrive tomorrow. <laughs> I know, yes. Good night. <laughs> I like the banner they've got going on. You alright? 
Five by. See you when you get up. Music. Give me nine times three. That's all of the music choices. I think we're gonna get the scene that they Karen. I thought a Karen was a tomb. It's a pile of rocks. That usually serves as a monument or a tomb? Well, it's not like they've been winning the war lately, have they? And that's because we haven't started yet. <laughs> you want to get on the front lines? The Ranger pretty much lives on the front lines. What about you? I like fights I can win. If you don't think you can win, why are you here? This one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't matter where anyone goes now. They're coming for you. Uh. Oh, that's cool. Right. I also love the eye technology that they've done, that they showed with um, Chase's family, and now um, that. It's cool to like, auto translate. And then this is the bit that we saw in the first look. Miss McCloud. Edison? Miss Roma Romaniza Roma, 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 Ah, Valentina. Uh, <laughs> specialists in Claire? Welcome to the Anvil. So good to finally meet you all in person. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to say hello. That's nothing. Wait till you see what he does to you next. I was joking. He wasn't. <laughs> Caliban will stow your gear in the hangar. Why? Kill skitter, huh? The hangar? Don't we get bunks? Not if you're not staying. Okay, everyone who can came what's up with the mad scientist here, say I. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, uh, I. I do get ahead of myself, apologies. On behalf of the ESU, thank you for all your time thus far testing for our program, but you're not done. Not quite yet. But we passed. You advanced to the finals, but I love Valentina's violent dreads. Or if we deal with er, dreads. Each other oh, oh. Eye to eye. It's three. If it doesn't work out, you'll be on your way home on the next transport. Home, says he. And we just got off the plane. Mind if we refresh first? Each minute we waste here is another minute before you meet your future. Go, suit up, and I'll collect you shortly. Did he say suit up? He's like a kid on Christmas morning. Which makes us what? His new puppies? You're the new lab rats. Come on. Close enough. Small cool. animal. Oh, once you get to know her, she's... Nah, she's pretty much the same. <laughs> So that's the rest of them, huh? I swung by the lab last night. Saw Chase. Don't you start. <sighs> Don't. Mm. It's been a rough four years for her. Whoa. Wait, what are those? I'll catch up with y'all. Come on. Look. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hey. I don't see this going well. I, I didn't. We were. They told us you were. You let us believe. You think I had a choice? Biggest secret in the whole world. You think they were just going to let me call my friends? We were more than... Four years with nothing. Four years of me working to this. Chance to be here, to, to see you again. You're not even really here. Oh! 
Ouch! I am, but you gotta trust me. I don't know what you want right now, but... Trust you? Ooh. I mean, I know she's hurt, but dang! I can't say I've worn a uniform like this. Cool. What even is this material? And it's got what? What? Are, what are these optical fiber circuits? And they all lead back up. Please to... just suit up. We'll explain <laughs> as we go. I like it. Ma'am, we have a possible intruder situation. Isolate them now. Do it quietly. Oh. So, if things don't work out, we at Spy? least have to keep the suits. You know, a souvenir? They are prototype body armor the ESU has been developing for the Vanguard. But let's wait for the doctor to explain. Freeze! Hands in the air! Did we fail already? Did you think we weren't going to catch a Union spy in our own base? Yes, I, I was from the Union, but... Huh? If you'd please call the Dr. Weller, he can explain. Lady, <laughs> we're talking about him. Yeah. Screw it. Secure her too and we'll sort it out later. You couldn't have waited like 10 more minutes. Oh, you gave him prototype body armor. Ugh. This stuff's disturbing. I like that we're getting to kind of see all of their skills in action. This is a good. Oh! Good na the, the action on this is amazing. It's a good narrative device um, to use a sudden small conflict to show all their strengths working together. Dang, this is great. That's a good choreography. Ow! Man, if they weren't wearing that body armor, that would be We should be fighting awful. These together. But no, you were weak. Okay, I'm starting to get the alarms working. The hell? Get him, Sinclair. The shite's a spy. You don't know how good you had it. Boo, huh? <laughs> Ghost distraction. No, Doc, wait! <gasps> hey. Whoa, easy. You will not take him. You understand you're aiming at the most important mind of the entire polity? Mm hmm? Oh, me! I'm certain she's aiming at you, but that's nice of you to say. Well, Yazaman, you were right about how today could go. Oh my gosh! Don't worry, there's only one thing he's here for. I got this. Well, this is exciting. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I very much doubt you could falsify test results, so either they turned you... Shut up. Or you're not really Sinclair. Cal, start Jim. One of the two. Emergency override. Progress. Presumably you killed him then? What is your plan, anyhow? No, I'm really curious. What do you want? How do you think you'll get away? 
Answer is one and the same. I love the doctor. Weller is awesome. Ooh. He picked a bad time to gather up this courage, hon. Down! Get down on the ground now! Yeah, I really don't think that's happening. Yeah, way to not pay attention. Oh, he just used the doctor as a weapon! Ow. Man, just once could an engineer follow naming conventions. Hey? So. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just finish up later. Okay, which one is he gonna grab? How about the one that's color coordinated to him? like to say hello to you. Everyone stays very, very still. Here's the deal. I want a Holon. Order the droid to upload me, or I turn the smoke loose. What happens after that is on you. We're really not here to negotiate with you. I'll be leaving here with one of the brains, with me running on it. But if you upload, you leave your body. Colonel, he clearly has the upper hand. Now, order him now, or I do it. He's not compatible. Because he killed him. Come on. I don't know if he's grasped that yet. Caliban, plug in this gentleman and initiate Genlock. Destination Unit 2. Absolutely not! Yes! not gonna go well for him and not just because I got spoiled Ooh. air systems not why you want to be genlock compatible so who wants to go next any takers oh that's gonna scare him off oh. okay dude like the first episode was good but this episode hooked me like i said i said the first one intrigued me and don't get me wrong, it did. But it was like the first episode was the Ruby character trailers. This episode was players in pieces. Like, this is the one where it's like, yes. I now see where this is going. I see how this is gonna work as a narrative. And with the characters meshing. Oh my, ah. Uh, it's so good. I love it. Oh my gosh. And I was also talking to my sister earlier this week because she's been watching Denlock too. 
she's actually caught up, whereas I'm not. I really hope I didn't just hit the mic. I can't, I really need to get used to wearing a mic. But, um, we we're talking about making my dad sit down and watch this, because where my mom has actually sat down and watched the first three volumes of Ruby, which I never anticipated her doing, but it was super cool and she seemed to enjoy it. Um, I think my dad would really be into Genlock because, um, He's a big Star Wars fan, and uh, like I and like I said in my last reaction, um, there's a lot of like Star Warsy feeling aspects to not necessarily the world building, but I don't know, just the general setup. And good morning, sunshine. But yeah. So, yeah, I need to make him watch it because, dang, oh my gosh, like, like I said, last, last episode was just diving straight into the world building. It was mostly just confusion, trying to figure out what was going on, how all this worked. This one just fully jumped in to where we got some got the most necessary questions answered and then the characters took over from there because uh that's one thing I think the first episode was kind of I don't want to say lacking but kind of lacking was um characterization because we really didn't get the depth of character that we did in this episode because I don't know it's hard to explain they served their function in the first episode we got their motivations, their general place in the world, but now we're getting their personalities and who they are, and dang, I love them. I love them all so much. Just, oh, I have such, ah, I don't know what to say. It's awful. Like last episode, I didn't know what to say because I wasn't sure what was going on. And just trying to process this episode hit me like a truck okay I did not expect okay I didn't expect what happened to Julian Chase in the first place I really didn't expect him to be missing 60% of his body <laughs> and I like I love the little world building tidbit that they threw in there that um, it's possible to uh, They've got regeneration technology in this world, in this future, but he couldn't use it because he was infected by uh, the Union's nanos, um, which is, I loved it that they're just giving us little, little tidbits and hints of, um, you know, how, how this technology works, how this everything, um, but not too much, but enough that we're able to like grasp it and understand it. Um, so that was a cool moment. Um, I also didn't anticipate the Genlock program to be, like, literally uploading your mind. Like, I, I thought, like, maybe it'd be, like, remote piloting sort of thing, but it's apparently a lot more intricate than that, which I think is cool and also lends a unique element to, uh, the story building, as we saw with this episode, with the uh, Sinclair, whatever his actual name is, uh, yeah. So yeah, that was the thing I got spoiled on, was I heard that Blaine's character died very early in, so. I didn't anticipate him being a bad guy, but his, uh, Blaine's voice acting was really good, like, you cannot tell that he's not a professional at this like dang he did really well with this episode and like I said I think that having that moment was just great device um for the story because like I said it's a small crisis you get to see what the enemy is doing in a way you get the measure of what our various heroes are capable of their input into that fight, um, their strengths in working together, and you also get 
the fallout of what could go wrong. Because you guys see what happens when you're not genlock compatible. And that was slightly horrifying. But so yeah, that was just great overall. And I'm really looking forward to see where they're going from here. How <laughs> the rest of them are going to react with having to now get into the program that they just saw kill someone. I'm also wondering how, um, I'm still working on names. Miranda, I think. Miranda Worth. Um, how she's gonna deal with Julian, because you could see there at the end she was going to visit him, possibly trying to, um, finally actually talk to him instead of just kind of insulting him like she did in the hallway saying that he's not really there like it's got a sting man he's he'd been through a lot apparently <laughs> it's, it's literally got only like 40 percent of his body left but um yeah so it's interesting gonna see how their um relationship is gonna progress from here I just, I just, this episode, man, that was so dang good. Ah, I'm mad at myself that I didn't watch it earlier than now, but damn, so good, so good. And I'm so looking forward to watching this, but next, next episode, whole, oh, and then being caught up weekly with everyone. So yeah, I'm not sure when these are going to be coming out because it seems like the Genlock reactions are taking a lot more time for Rich Teeth to get them unblocked because a uh, large influx of uh, Genlock related content that they need to sift through. But hopefully these will be out quickly. Um, yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, links and stuff are down in the description, Patreon, Discord, uh, my P.O. Box, all of that good stuff. Um, and I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.